Welcome back to Gurung Pinoy. This is Coach Mac, and tonight we are back with one of the most requested topics for me to discuss. This is the outcome-based education versus the traditional education. But before we go over the different things that we need to discuss tonight, make sure that you like this video, you follow, subscribe, and like all our social media accounts. You can find us on YouTube as Gurung Pinoy and also on Facebook as Gurung Pinoy. Now, let's talk about outcome-based education. We start with its meaning. What actually is OBE? OBE, or outcome-based education, is also known as standards-based education. This is a theory that is centered on outcomes or goals, which means that we are shifting our focus. We are no longer focused on trying to finish everything that we need to finish for the entire school year. Instead, our focus is that our students should reach the goals or the outcomes that we have set for them. One very important characteristic of the OBE is that, as I have mentioned, it is focused on the outcomes and not the inputs. When we say inputs, some examples for this would be how many hours students spend in class or what textbooks are we going to provide them. It can even mean what are the technology that we are going to use inside the classroom or what are the teaching strategies and techniques that we are going to incorporate. Outcomes, on the other hand, include a range of skills and knowledge that should be concretely measurable. And this is where the writing of our learning outcomes or the writing of our learning objectives would come into play. Remember that your learning objectives should be smart. That means they should be specific, they should be measurable, they should be attainable by the students, they should be result-oriented or relevant, and of course, they should be time-bound. Another thing that we should understand about OBE is that it is focused on criteria and not on the norm. The students are assessed here against absolute objectives instead of reporting the student's achievements compared to that of his classmates. That means norm reference testing or grading on the curve is not done in OBE. Instead, the student is awarded levels, which indicates that the teacher believes that a student has learned enough of the current material to be able to succeed in the next level of work. Having said that, in OBE, there actually has no failing students. If a student is not able to reach the outcomes that the teacher has set in this particular level, the student would just review this level together with his peers. Now let's take a look at some differences between OBE and traditional education. To compare them, we have three criteria. The first one would be our curriculum. Secondly, we have the teaching process. And lastly, we also have the assessment. As for their curriculum, your OBE, or outcome-based education, sets curriculum according to the needs of today's students. What do the students need today? What do the students need so that they can be successful in present-day society? That is the focus of OBE's curriculum. On the other hand, traditional curriculum is passed on from generation to generation. There is really no change in the way curriculum is taught or in the way curriculum is written. Secondly, based on the teaching process, outcome-based education is focused on helping students reach the outcomes or the goals. On the other hand, traditional education is focused on completing the syllabus for that school year or trying to finish the entire book. And lastly, for their assessment, OBE, or outcome-based education, is based on the levels that track the learning skills of the students. Remember that the students are graded as to their levels. There really is no failing student in OBE. Again, if they have not reached the goals in a certain level, all they need to do is to revise or to review that certain level before they may be able to go to the next level of achievement. On the other hand, in traditional education, their knowledge or their skills are assessed and are given their grades. Now, there are three very important OBE models that are in existence. The first one is your Outcomes-Driven Developmental Model, or ODDM. Secondly, we also have the SPADI model. And lastly, we have the MACREL model. Let's take a look at these different models that we have. Your Outcomes-Driven Developmental Model, or ODDM, 
was launched by John Champlain of Johnson City, New York in the early 1970s. This was originally described as the mastery learning program because the term outcome-driven was still not used during that time. The major difference between mastery learning and ODDM is that mastery learning's focus is more on the teacher. In the mastery learning program, the teacher takes responsibility so that the students would learn whatever are the set goals the teacher has set for them. In the ODDM, the focus has shifted into the student's role. The next model that we have here, and perhaps the most well-known model of OBE, is the Spady model. This was developed by Bill Spady and his associates at the High Success Network. Spady here has given us four principles that characterize your OBE or your outcome-based education. For him, your OBE should have first the clarity of focus. That means your objectives should be clear, your objectives should be specific. Secondly, he said, you should design down and deliver up. That means whenever you are designing your curriculum, whenever you are designing your lesson, you should have your goal or your objectives in mind. That should be your basis in trying to deliver your curriculum. Next, there is high expectations of all the students in your SPADI model. Remember that in your OBE, it is criterion referenced, it is not norm referenced. And so students are all expected to hit the target or to hit the goals. And lastly, there is expanded opportunities. This means assessment is not only done through paper and pencil. There are other methods through which the learning of the student is assessed. Lastly, we have the Mackerel model. This is also known as the performance assessment system, which was developed by Bob Marzano and Associates at Mid-Continent Regional Educational Laboratory, or Mackerel. That's the reason why we call this the Mackerel model. Sometimes this model is also called the Marzano model because, of course, it was developed by Bob Marzano. And one very important contribution of this model is the writing of performance tasks for the students. It is very important to note that whenever we give performance tasks, they should have different elements or different outcomes in one challenging task. I hope you now have a grasp of what OBE is, what is the difference between OBE and traditional education, and also the three models of OBE that we have just discussed. This has been Coach Mac of Gurung Pinoy, and I leave you the saying, maliit man na butil ng mga kaalaman, ang dulo nito ay malaking kaginawaan.